So one of the big things that I want to go over in the class is just dealing with overall style of uh, widgets and, uh, and QT. And one of the ways of dealing with that is through CSS. So this view, or QSS is um, it's commonly referred to within the, the QT community. Um, but this UI is building something out um, using a designer um, and then building up a, a CSS file um, externally. Um, and then this is just the default launch application. But whenever I load on the CSS, uh, we get a much different um, color scheme. Uh, for this, I was using um, the TARDIS from Dr. Hugh as a uh, reference point for uh, just some colors and shading. Um, <clears throat> so I just created a, a lot of things that are sort of these b dark blues with uh, some highlights and some uh, shadowing here and there. Um, this is all completely customizable. can easily be changed out for whatever an individual would want. Um, but this is the sort of stuff I'm going to go over how all this stuff works um, in, in the course of the class. Uh, a lot of it's pretty straightforward because a lot of these things work off of a similar concept um, where you can add borders and you can round things. Like for example, this radio button, this little button part here, um, it looks like it's just a, a circle. But let me go back to Q radio button. Let me find that real quick. Oh, actually, I was already there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And if I change this to zero, reload it, it becomes squared off. If we go back to six pixels, it actually rounds that border down. Um, so it creates more of a circular look to it, um, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, so just, you know, messing around with uh, some gradients um, and just how all this different stuff works. Um, but again, just sort of using that uh, coloring scheme. Um, actually, a lot of fun doing this. Um, and obviously, I'm just adding in random data, um, but you know, just different types of stuff like the push buttons, uh, connecting up dials and things. So this is just a, and these are all just the default widgets. So none of this stuff is actually anything outside of the norm. So this would work if you just sort of slapped it on anybody else's UI, uh, but it just sort of very easily works in conjunction with what's already there. Um, let's see, as you can see I have a specific sort of light blue for the highlight. Um, a, lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a lot of this, you know, it could be customizable through buttons, but I just chose to sort of go with whatever was defaultly there without having to create too much. The only real PNG is up here, um, but I'll go over that stuff in the class. Um, but again, this is sort of what we started off with. And this is where we are now. Um, I think it's a nice improvement. Um, but just a lot of different things going on. And uh, but it's all pretty straightforward once you get into it. And it's a lot of fun.